Hi everyone, welcome back. It's time for a tour of my favorite journal kit. I've talked about this a lot if you are a frequent subscriber here. This is the Deldi flat zip wallet pouch. I got it off of Jet Pens, so I will link that down below. It comes in various colors, but I got black to go with everything. And I can honestly say this is my favorite pouch to use for journaling. It pretty much fits most of my immediate needs. And I can't rave about it enough. The great feature is that it pops up. So when you're on a desk, um, it just kind of sits open and I can easily just grab everything from it. Inside, I just have a small pair of embroidery scissors. Um, it's just one of the flattest pairs of scissors that I have, and there happens to be a little pocket here that I can just easily slip that into. So that way, it's at the top. I can easily grab it. I always know where my scissors are. I'm going to have to go digging. I've got quite a bit of stuff stacked in here because I've just kind of been throwing things in. I've got a small washi card made up here various um, stickers that I've stuck here. This is Kitawashi. This is just a traveler's notebook sticker here. I've stamped some of my stamps onto papers so that way because I don't really have room to carry stamps, I can carry my stamps with me this way and they're all kind of just pre-decorated and I can easily cut these things out and use for journaling. So that's another way that I like to do that. I like to stamp onto various types of papers and trace paper, vellum, cut them out and carry them with me. And then I have some uh, ripped up vintage music sheet paper and some vintage ephemera here that I stuck in to use. I have a very flat Midori ruler that kind of extends so I use that as a surface um, edge to rip up papers or if I need to draw straight lines if I needed to, but very compact. It's nice that it just um, fits in this pouch. I've got a glue stick. That's what I use. It's the Elmer's Extra Strength. And I used up a roll of washi and then I used the actual base of the roll to re-roll double stick uh, tape, double-sided tape, and that's what I can use to stick photos in or various vellums or any sort of like plasticky paper material that uh, a glue stick might not hold. Um, so I've re-rolled that and then I'll just re-roll it and to refill it when I need to, but I like to keep a small thing of double-sided tape for that reason. I always have lip balm in all of my journal kits. And then at the back here, this is just the latest edition that I like to carry around. It's a King Art Tempura, Tempura, Tempura uh, paint stick. Um, it's a quick dry paint stick. <laughs> it's very self-explanatory. I got the set for my daughter and then um, I bought an extra one to have on hand and I took the yellow um, because they have such vibrant colors. I highly recommend paint sticks because it's like being able to carry paints around, but they're fast drying, they're washable, they're made for kids, but I am really loving just using this as a wash of color for my journals. So I might switch that out with other colors, but currently yellow is the, the favorite one. And then I have various tins that kind of sit in here. And this is what I use to compartmentalize all of my little bits and pieces. I get these at art stores, art gift shops, um, you know, Altoids, you can get them at like Target in the mint section, bookstores. They always have like fun novelty tins. Um, but this actually fits small little washi cards. These are just like little Panera. If you sign up for Panera, you get the little account keychain thing. Um, I had a spare one, I don't know why. Um, but I took down the smaller cards and I made little washi cards and they fit perfectly in here. Little washi samples that I've gotten. And then all of my kitawashi sits in here. So I ripped up one of each of the designs 
stuck them in here. There's plenty of room for me to stick things in and it all fits perfectly in this tin. The Altoids one fits all of my non-sticky pieces. So like trace paper that I've stamped onto so I can layer cutouts from larger pieces of paper. Um, these little beautiful pieces, die cuts, um, there are postal stamps in here as well. Little ephemera pieces. I'm trying to like not spill all this. So postal stamps right there. Avril yarn pieces, tons of stamps. If I really press down, I mean, I've got a lot of room in here. And then I have all these Lian Chung, Lian Ching? Can't really remember how you pronounce it, but those little gummed labels that I've uh, also stamped on to pre decorate with. And they all fit perfectly in here. I've stamped up some handmade paper as well. So I really prepared this to be very on the go, not needing too much additional supplies if I can help it. So if I'm going to a cafe, everything I need is in here. I put all my favorite bits in here as well. So um, that way it's you know ready to go. Small sticker flakes, lots of little sticker flakes in here. So this is all the sticky portions of my journaling supplies. So that way it's kind of categorized. I know that this has all my washi uh, pieces that need to be glued down and then all the little sticker pieces are in here. And it's honestly kind of fun to just find little tins that work for different sizes. And then at the bottom here I've just kind of thrown in so many little various pieces, more gummed um, labels. I've got little vellum pieces, sticker flakes that are larger that don't quite fit anywhere, a book label that I like to use um, just as a sticker for journaling, and then I've also organized two little um, paper and vellum envelopes to hold more pieces that I've just decided to throw in. So there's more sticker flakes in here, vintage papers, handmade paper, lots of pieces in this one sticker flakes, um, more little fun labels, vellum stamped pieces in here, various types of paper textures to layer and collage, um, just larger vellum pieces. I love vellum for journaling. And they all just kind of sit flat at the bottom. And then I've also included my information in case this gets lost. So that all sits at the bottom here, and I could probably just slip this into one of those pockets there. And just kind of have everything sitting in a certain order to maximize the space. And then this can all sit here. So, yeah, so you can see it fits a lot and I haven't bulked it up so much that it's created too much of an odd shape and changes the shape of it. But I've fit stamps in here as well. I've had stamps sitting in a tiny little tin. I've fit my little sewer mommy inks. So I'll just take out the ones individually to sit in here. But that's my current favorite journal kit. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching.